According to a new report from the Stanford Institute for Human-Centered Artificial Intelligence, global investments in artificial intelligence and robotics have continued to grow. However, another report suggests that female humanoid robots are dropping in prices. So what's happening in the AI market and what consequences it might have? Why are the female humanoids dropping in prices? In this video, we're going to discuss all of these things in detail. Let's start by saying hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we'll fill you in in every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insight in the world of robotics, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. As more industries adopt AI and automation, concerns about ethics and potential regulation have arisen. 2021 was the year that AI transitioned from an emerging to a mature technology. We're no longer dealing with a speculative part of scientific research, but rather something with real-world impact, both positive and negative, said Jack Clark, co-chair of the AI Index. According to this year's AI Index, AI is being integrated into the economy, and its effects are beginning to ripple across research, deployment, and even funding. The AI Index Report 2022 was released today by the Stanford Institute for Human-Centered Artificial Intelligence. It looked at recent investments, R&D activity, technical performance, ethics discussions, job postings, and AI legislation that has been passed. The initiative was led by the AI Index Steering Committee, an interdisciplinary group of experts from academia and industry. The study's stated goal is to be the world's most credible and authoritative source for AI data and insights. Stanford HAI also released the results of an online survey that was conducted between December 2021 and February 2022 with 101 professors from 43 universities participating. According to the AI Index survey, robot arms are becoming more affordable. In the last six years, the median price of robotic arms has dropped fourfold from $42,000 per arm in 2017 to $22,600 in 2021, it said. According to the report, the price decrease has made robotic research more accessible, especially since academics can get educator discounts. Employers requested robotic skills among the top five. Machine learning advancements have aided robots in optimizing manufacturing tasks and autonomous vehicles in navigating, according to the report. Respondents to the survey said they used both deep learning and reinforcement learning. Deep learning was used by 67% of professors, while reinforcement learning was used by 46. Robotics and machine vision were among the most popular PhD specialties in 2020, according to Stanford HAI. Motion planning, the robot operating system, drives and motors, and simultaneous localization and mapping were also areas of interest. According to the AI Index Report 2022, median prices for robot arms have dropped over the last six years. Are you enjoying this video? Please like the video so that I can understand yes you are. In 2021, private investment in AI will total approximately $93.5 billion, more than doubling the amount invested in 2020. However, the number of newly funded AI businesses has decreased from 1,051 in 2019 and 762 in 2020 to 746 in 2021. According to the AI Index report, there were four funding rounds worth $500 million or more in 2020 and 15 in 2021. According to the report, Databricks, Beijing Horizon Robotics Technology, Oxbotica LTD, and Salonis were among the top AI funding recipients. According to the AI Index report in 2021, the research community will be more interested in computer vision subtasks such as medical image segmentation and masked face identification. For example, prior to 2020, only three research papers tested systems against the Kvasir SEG medical imaging benchmark. By 2021, 25 research papers had done so. Such an increase suggests that AI research is shifting toward more direct, real-world applications, the report concluded. According to the report, AI is approaching human performance levels in basic reading comprehension and abductive natural language interference, and work on more generalized abilities is ongoing. In the last two years, AI systems have improved by 129% on more general reinforcement learning tasks in which they must operate in novel environments, the researchers wrote. This trend foreshadows the future development of AI systems capable of learning to think more broadly. 
At the same time, the number of AI-related bills passed into law increased from 1 in 2016 to 18 in 2021, with Spain, the United Kingdom, and the United States each passing three. According to the study, most discussions about bias and ethical use of AI took place in the Anglophone world. Your constant support motivates us to create more informative videos like this. Please subscribe to the channel so that you can receive notifications about new videos that I'm going to upload in the future. Luxbotics is developing a service robot for a wide range of applications, including fashion, elder care, and of course, pleasure or romantic companionship. According to a company representative, the company has created a female robot with an automated skeleton specifically designed for pleasurable activity. We believe we have the most lifelike motion due to our intelligently designed skeleton, he added. The company stated that the final skeleton could not yet be revealed. We have customized patent pending skeleton joints that allow us to use as few motors as possible while still achieving highly realistic motion. Luxbotics is also developing BedBots, a service robot that uses its robotic arm system to help you sleep. It's possible to add a pleasurable connection that will allow hands-free engagement, which may appeal to people with limited hand movement in particular. According to the spokeswoman, a general purpose gripper attachment can handle a male organ prototype, but it will also be possible to attach a specialized massage gripper designed specifically for pleasurable operation. At this point, the company has built a realistic human mold and is working on the first skeleton to be placed inside the mold. As a result of positive feedback, Luxbotics is adding a lot of motion to the hips. Although the hips will be mobile, not every part of the body will be. Furthermore, the company intends to give its robotic companion facial emotions. Doll Suite, another well-known Chinese love doll company, is working on two different versions of a talking robot head. The prototype, according to a company official, speaks Chinese but not English. The head is designed to be worn on top of any Doll Suite silicone pleasure doll bodies, which range in size from 158 centimeters to 167 centimeters. The head can make facial expressions, listen to music from an MP3 file, and be controlled by a smartphone or game controller. While the robot's pleasure components is still in research and development, a representative stated that the non-pleasure first-generation robot items are ready for mass production. The robot is currently intended for lectures, greetings, and etiquette. It can be used at a hotel's front desk, as a shopping guide, or as a commentator. The final price is unknown, but the company expects it to cost between $36,000 and $80,000. The pleasure elements will be programmed into the second generation device, which is far from ready due to shipping, maintenance, and mechanical issues. Doll Suite does not know when the second version will be available for purchase, but it will include artificial intelligence and will be more expensive. It has a movable shoulder, a rotating neck, and can be controlled with your voice in Chinese. The voice control technology is already complete, according to a company official, and the head can converse in a manner similar to Siri on your smartphone. For example, it can respond to inquiries by using a built-in database or the internet. It can also work in tandem with a home automation system. The venture has been defined by the company as a massive undertaking requiring massive resources. It has started work on a full-body AI pleasure robot, but does not know when it will be finished. DS Doll is also working on a project called Clone Dolls, which uses 3D scanning technology to replicate the bodies of famous models and actresses. Celebrities and ordinary people alike may develop and even sell silicone dolls in their likeness with permission. Illuium Robotics, which launched in 2020, aims to create the first true robotic cat females as well as general purpose AI powered robots. It offers two adorable robot options. The standard Lily stands 150 centimeters tall, weighs 10 kilograms, and has a four hour battery life. The smaller robotic cat girl model stands about 100 centimeters and weighs five kilograms. Both are expected to be expensive, with prices ranging between $2,000 and $1,000. The majority of the company's manufacturing is done in-house in British Columbia, where a small 3D printing farm and numerous assembly benches are used, according to the company's website. According to Jack Clark, co-director of the AI Index Steering Committee, the larger and more capable an AI system is, the more likely it is to produce outputs that contradict society's values. This is the challenge that AI is facing, he explained. We have systems that work really well, but the ethical issues they cause are growing. Stanford HAI collaborated with Bloomberg Research, Georgetown University's Center for Security and Emerging Technology, the Computing Research Association, the
the MC Burning Glass, Intinto, LinkedIn, McKinsey Global Institute, ML Commons, NetBase Quid, and Women in Machine Learning were also involved. Now we've reached the end of this video, I'd like to know what would be the best price you would offer for purchasing this female humanoid robot. Write your opinion in the comment section below. Also, share this video with your friends who might need one of these humanoid robots. See you in the next one.